This video talks about pec major and its relationship to radical mastectomy. Now let's talk about pec major first. Pec major is a fan-shaped muscle in our body, in our chest wall. In men, it makes the bulk of the chest wall. In female, it lies beneath the breast and the fascia. So there is a breast followed by deep fascia and then comes pec major. Now, how does this muscle has to do anything with, uh, with the functions of the humerus or functions of the arm? Now, there is a small attachment that pec major makes with the humerus. So, attachment is kind of here, so you can imagine. And that attachment that it makes with the humerus, that, in, that origin is called intertubercular groove of the humerus. Okay? That's where the pec major attaches itself onto the humerus. As a result, it, if pec major is removed, then we are going to have some loss of functions in the humerus. Let's talk about that, that next. Now, in radical mastectomy, pec major is removed. Now, before pec major used to be removed a lot more often, before people realized that uh, removing the pec major has some um, compromise of the of the arm action. Now, what are some of the functions of pec major? Well, it will help us adduction of the arm, internal rotation. It makes sense. You want to bring your arm closer and around it. So, adduction and internal rotation. It also has some functions of flexion. And pec major is responsible for deep inspiration. I would like to stop here and make this point clear that pec major is not a muscle of respiration. We are not using pec major during inspiration or expiration, but we are using pec major when we are deep inspiring to, um, to expand our chest wall. So, for example, you want to take a deep breath before jumping into a pool. That kind of very, very deep inspiration, yes, we are using pec major. But in terms of respiration, we do not use pec major. So keep that in mind. So let's do a quick scenario of what kind of questions you can have from pec major to radical mastectomy. So in this case, uh, there is a patient with breast cancer. And which, which muscle deep in the breast is removed? in terms of radical mastectomy and the muscle is pec major. This causes what kind of compromise in muscle function? It's going to compromise internal rotation, adduction, some flexion, and deep inspiration. Okay, um, And then the next question I put down here, is pec major responsible for breathing or elevation of the ribs? No, it's not used for breathing or elevation of the ribs, but it's only used for deep inspiration. So do not get confused when you see elevation of the ribs, that that is a function of pec major. It's not, only during deep inspiration.